let's uh, let's crack straight on, eh? With the first game on a Friday night, rearranged. This was meant to be a Sunday game, but they looked here and went Friday night under the lights, Leverkusen, Kern. This is where it sets us up for a nice home win, but now we've got to then turn it into value. Leverkusen at minus 160, Kern at plus 420. Kern not to score is plus 155. Leverkusen minus one is at plus 115, which looks like a really generous free hit. Leverkusen, this, see, this is it. Leverkusen a minus 155 to score twice. I think they score twice. Uh, I'm not sure Kern score, so there's a great start for you. Uh, Kev, home side win. Now, do we get half-time, full-time? Because Leverkusen like to start early. I just see this as one-way traffic, to be honest. And you, are you, no, you're you not commentating on this game, are you? No. No, I'm okay. not. I, I'm doing the other Friday night game. Um, this It's important to remind people that this was moved from Sunday. And the reason it was moved from Sunday is because Leverkusen have a big Europa League semi-final game coming up against Roma. And they asked fairly late on, it has to be said... Um, to move the game. The authorities agreed with that. Köln were not massively happy about it, I have to say, but it was kind but, of presented but as let, a... Let me, ask, let me ask you before you go on. Uh, shouldn't Köln also have to uh, agree with that? Okay, it's it's the... the no, the... not necessarily. No? Because I th uh, no, because I think if the application is made by one of the teams, it's then down to the authorities to make that decision one way or another. Yes, the question was asked, do you have a massive objection? Köln have gone along with it, but they're not happy about it. Uh, and I think their feeling is that it was presented as a fait accompli. It was pretty much, look, this is going to happen, whether you like it or not. And, and so there it is. Um, in terms of half-time, full-time, it's not a better like, as you know. And one of the reasons it's not a better like is because this is the kind of game where it can be a bit awkward. Because Köln have got lots of energy. We know that. They'll, they'll come to press. They'll come to make it tricky. For Leverkusen, and it might take Leverkusen a little while to get going. However, I think they'll get there in the end. I think if you look at Leverkusen's form over the last few weeks, it's been excellent. Um, I think the home win against Bayern gave them a massive lift. I think the penalty shootout win over Monaco in the Europa League was another huge lift. I think they've won six and drawn three of the last nine in the league, so that's a very, very good run. And I did say earlier in the season I wanted more time to truly assess what Xabi Alonso was doing because I did feel and still do that there's an element of regression to the mean here because it was so bad in the first third of the season that they were always going to get better, even if us three were in charge. So there was always going to be a bit of a boost at some stage, but you have to hand it to him. He's maintained that. He's maintained it in Europe. And I do think they're on the move. So they dug out a good draw at Union last week. And I think here against a Köln team that's nearly safe, I, I think they'll win it and they'll win it by a couple of goals. Yeah, team A, team B, and then the team A happens to be Leverkusen. Fill your boots. It's just finding the right way because I see Leverkusen maybe scoring two or three. I, I think that Kern. I just don't see anything from the away side. Um, and that's before we put it down as a Friday night game, Alex. Leverkusen, um, I said about normal service resumed, or I said normal, and then obviously Kev added the service bit. I think that Leverkusen are now starting to look back where the reason why I tipped them to be run uh, by and so close at the start of the season. I think they're very dangerous. The confidence is high. And dare I say it, the final games of the season might just be coming at the wrong time for them i uh, i know that they are in a brilliant run of form their last defeat uh, uh, was back uh, against mines uh, back in february uh, at home but there is a, a tiny uh, let's say uh, reasoning why i'm i'm not going for them because uh, as you know as, as uh, Ken, uh, Kev said, uh, they have an Europa League uh, semi-final next week. And uh, before the uh, quarter-final second leg against Royal Union, uh, they played Wolfsburg on the road and they failed to score. This is uh, uh, my worry here also. They requested this match to be played on Friday. Uh, Köln is not a bad team. Uh, they improved uh, on the road uh, since uh, having that uh, dreadful run of four on the road with two wins on the road uh, right now. 
Uh, I think that uh, this match will be uh, entertaining. I think it will have goals. Uh, the Alex Classic is a way to go here. I think that also Curl scores. scores. I, I, I'm not sure that uh, I want to be with uh, Leverkusen. I, I think that they will not lose this one. And I'm happy to see Kev, because I remember him saying three months ago, two months ago, about uh, Alonso and about uh, wanting, wanting to see more about uh, what he wants to do and how the players will adapt. Uh, finally, finally backing Leverkusen. Of course, that I will cheer for him. Uh, I can't wait for him to... Maybe a free one type of match uh, today uh, with uh, Leverkusen winning the three points. But at minus 60, I wouldn't put uh, anyone's money on this uh, match. Well, the over two and a half at minus one thirty-five looks like a, a good enough bet because you exactly. have got the you have got the uh, like the chance that it could be a home win at three nil. Um, if Kern are going to go and press, then that's probably the worst thing that they can do to this side. I think you've got to be uh, two banks of four or four and a five and frustrate and say, okay, then come and beat us. Because the thing is now, if the Kern overcommit and they get passed round and have the triangles in transition. Leverkusen will just pick you off. Um, you see it so so often that Kern could be in control, but uh, give a ball away, be sloppy, and then there's a shot on your goal because that's how they want to play. Whereas if Kern just maybe say, okay, you come and show us what you've got, they might be a bit, oh, and they second guess because there's no real space to run into. But the bottom line is it's Team A, Team B. Don't go against the sorcery. It is voodoo. It, now we know. So let's have a little look at the official picks. Leverkusen minus one. At plus one, one, five. Yeah, it's a very tasty free hit for me. Leverkusen an over one and a half at minus 120. I see them scoring a minimum of two. Happy with the two nil, obviously, with uh, Leverkusen at plus one, one, five free hit for Kev. And I double dipped because I see that Leverkusen maybe win this sort of 8-2 on the corners. Have a little look at my other pick, please. Okay, where, so Leverkusen and over one and a half at minus one twenty. Uh, did sorry, there it is. Leverkusen minus one and a half corners minus one one five. My allergies bad today that I can't even see the screen. Uh, my apologies, there, producer. 